Next, we're going to look at securing switches. Like the routers, we need to restrict access to the console and auxiliary ports. Campus switches, so the distribution and access switches, are usually in locked equipment cabinets in strategic parts of the buildings. If the cabinets are not locked, you'll need to find other ways of ensuring that these devices are well out of general population and general user reach. Physical access needs to be considered very carefully. You want to restrict login access over the network as well. Turn off Telnet, of course. We need to set up Secure Shell, again, only version 2, and protect the control pane login ports with filters on the management VLAN interface. We also need to secure the wireless access points. Again, restricting access to the physical console port if the wireless access point has a console port. In fact, some of the modern access points don't have a physical console port and instead just have a single Ethernet interface and quite often a hidden button, which is a reset switch, setting the access point back to factory defaults. Last thing you want is for an end user to be able to access the switch and reset the wireless access point. Campus wireless access points are usually mounted on ceilings well out of reach. We want to restrict access over the network as well. Most modern APs are managed by dedicated software or even hardware controllers. And so these hardware controllers need to be protected like routers and switches are. Software controllers running on laptops or tablets need to have proper management access permissions.